Welcome to another instructional snippet. This snippet will be using Bernoulli's equation to solve for the fluid velocity in a pipe. The analysis is simplified but the velocity measuring device is real, known as a pitot tube. This instructional snippet assumes a knowledge of how to calculate pressure due to a column of fluid, and how to set up and use Bernoulli's equation. Find the velocity in the pipe with the information provided. Viscous effects are negligible. Let's see what we are analyzing. First we need a pipe with water flowing in it. Next we need two indications of pressure. We will use standpipes, which indicate pressure by the height of the supported water column in each one. Note that the second standpipe extends to the center line of the pipe and makes a 90 degree turn into the flow. This creates a point of zero velocity or stagnation point. We will identify two points for the application of Bernoulli's equation. Point 1 is beneath the first standpipe. Point 2 is at the stagnation point. Let's write down Bernoulli's equation from point 1 to point 2. Next let's simplify. The velocity at point 2 is zero since it is a stagnation point. The elevations Z1 and Z2 are equal and cancel out. We will use the equation relating pressure to a fluid depth, P equals rho GH for both the pressures at point 1 and point 2. Doing some algebra we are left with. The velocity at point 1 is equal to the square root of 2 times G times the difference H2 minus H1. Looks like we are done. No. We should always do a dimension and or unit check. We should obtain the dimensions of velocity, which are length per time, or L over T. Let's check. The gravitational constant has dimensions of length over time squared. The dimension of the liquid columns, H, is length. The square root of length squared over time squared is indeed length over time. Check complete. A pitot tube is a device that measures fluid velocity. It does this by measuring both the static pressure, P, and the stagnation pressure, P plus one half rho V squared. In this example both of these pressures were measured by standpipes where the height of the fluid column indicates pressure. The flow was brought to zero isentropically, without friction, etc., at the stagnation point, hence we were able to use Bernoulli's equation and solve for the fluid velocity. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.